Hi there, this is Jennifer with Cheeky Cat Paper, and in this video, I am going to show you how to make these lovely paper flowers. And these are great to use um, in your junk journals, just to embellish pages, or however you want to use them. I'm sure you'll come up with lots of creative ways to use them. Uh, now these are pretty easy to make. What you'll need is some different types of papers. I've got um, some tool. I've got, uh, this is just some uh, coffee filter that I've dyed. Um, some paper from an old book. Some avocado dyed papers another coffee dyed paper and uh, you could even use paper with a pretty little print on it um, it's entirely up to you and what what you like um, okay so what you're going to need um, in addition to the paper is some grommets and something to set those grommets with now, if you don't have uh, grommets, don't worry. You can still um, take your layers and just staple them through the middle and then use some hot glue and just, you could glue a button over it or you could glue um, one of these type little gem, I forget what these are called. They have a name, I don't know what they're called, but Anyway, um, you'll also need, if you're using the grommets, you'll need something to poke the hole through the middle with. I just use this from my bookbinding kit. And you might also want some um, distressed ink or some kind of inking to uh, put some edges on those layers to make them really pop. Um, let's see, I think, I think that's it. Um, so let's get started. So what you're going to do is you want to, uh, with your papers, you're going to want to take something that is roughly square shaped and you'll fold it in half and you have to be uh, aware of the folds. That's, this is important. Um, so you're gonna, then you're going to fold it in half again. And so as you can see, my one main fold is over here, and then I've got the secondary folds over here. And then I'm gonna fold it over one more time for a total of three times. And now my main fold is here and my secondary, secondary folds are over here. So, and this is the corner that holds it all together. So now you're gonna take your scissors. And what I like to do is uh, cut something that looks kind of like an ice cream cone. And you can play around with the depth and the size, however you want to do it, see what works for you. Um, maybe a little smoother. Okay, and then let's see how this looks. And if you don't like the way it looks when you open it up, just fold it back up and do it again. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm liking this, this size. Of course, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, whatever you want to do. Now, with the next couple that you make, you're going to want to make them in successively smaller sizes. So, just as an example, I'll show you. I'm going to fold this piece. Fold it a second time, fold it a third time. Okay, so now you can see my first one was about here. So I'm gonna make this one even smaller so that it'll nestle inside that first one nicely. I'll do my ice cream cone. Oh, it's a little wonky. Okay. Now I'll we'll open this up. And there you go. You can see it's a bit smaller and 
it can really show off. Okay, so now you, um, you can just do that. I like to keep the layers to about mm, four or five. You could do more, you could do less. This one's got five. This one's got five. This one has four. Okay, so um, four or five, you can do as many or as few as you want. Um, but so I've already pre-cut some here. And now I'm gonna ink these just for a little extra pop. And um, I this color is brushed corduroy. Um, I also like this kind of aged mahogany, a red or pinkish one. I those are the ones I use the most. Um, and you you know you don't have to have any fancy tools for this. I just use an old, very old, <laughs> kind of embarrassed by that. Maybe I should toss that out, get a different one, um, at least for these videos. Um, yeah, this is just an old sponge brush. And we'll just ink up the edges here. And this last one. You don't have to do this, of course. I just think it makes each of the layers pop a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, so now we've got our layers and then you have to decide, you know, how, how you want it, what order you want it to go in, you know, play around with it until you think it looks good. I kind of like that. I like to um, stagger the, the petals a little bit. You know, I don't want to have them all lined up. I want to kind of, you know, mix it up so there's more, more of that layering effect. Okay, so then when you've got it figured out um, how you want it, you're just going to hang on to all of them. I'm going to poke this hole right through the middle there. And it actually needs to be a little bit bigger than this makes it. So I'm just kind of working that hole to widen it up a little bit. Okay, set that aside. And then you can decide what color you want. Um, I think on this one, I'll just, I'll do this gold. I'm just gonna stick that through. Make sure it goes all the way through to the other side. I'm just gonna push down the paper around it so it can really grab on. Okay, and then we take our tool. And let me see if I could do this right. I believe it goes in this way. And we just press really hard. And there we go. It looks like it's grabbed on there good. And there you have it. Um, and, and then, like I said, you know, you could always, you could always do something like this. If you don't have the, the grommets, just, you know, make sure you've got either sew it together or you, you could just use a staple, um, really quick and easy. And, um, and that's it. And then you can make all of these lovely paper flowers. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and, um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for my newsletter. You will uh, get some free ephemera. And um, I think they're coming out about once a month. And I will always include uh, some free uh, ephemera in those newsletters, as well as some uh, special discounts for my Etsy sites. Um, thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.